How you doing everybody? Welcome back to this channel. I want to give you a quick update for NEO in case you're trying to trade NEO for a nice and beautiful swing play on Monday uh, from I would say around 34 to 35 to around 37 to 39. That's where I see NEO going to, um, on Monday. So also there's some news that have been released with NEO and you know pretty much things that are affecting all the electrical vehicle companies uh, like Ford and Tesla and others. So on my screen here, I have news from Investors Business Daily. Uh, so basically, NIO had to close down one of their factories in China for about five days uh, because of the uh, cheap shortage that's happening, you know, and uh, it's affecting many other EV companies, like I said. So but this is something that I can see us uh, moving away from down the line and then you know problems that we will resolve but for now we have some crazy swings you know the electrical vehicle uh, stocks are moving along with the news and it's just all volatile and whatever let's look at the chart and let's see how we're gonna do on Monday and also I want to talk about where I see resistance for Neo right now is there any support below 35 let's jump in so this is the hourly charge for Neo as you can see we are where I said NEO would drop to. And this area is the strongest support area that I have at the moment for NEO. I'm gonna scroll out here and I'm gonna look at the daily chart. If you notice, uh, if you can read here, I guess, or if you can see the lines, we are right now sitting right above the 200 EMA. This is strong support. This would be that yellow line that you see right here. And my blue line coincides perfectly with that yellow line. I drew this support from way before, you know, we were here. Like I was up here with Neo, and I had drawn this support for Neo already. And yes, this actually ended up being the strongest support for Neo. And if we notice, we're forming some sort of double bottom on Neo right here. I personally do not see Neo dropping below 35. If that was to happen at the moment, I don't have any support for Neo. Yeah, no support. Yep, no support. There could be an emotional, mental support, I call them personally, around $30. When you have like whole numbers like this, like 35, 30, 40, that's usually resistance or support. Right now, I don't feel like Neo will drop from here. What I see happening on Monday, and let me draw it here or talk about it I see Neo just during pre-market hours I see it dropping a little bit right and it will recover and it'll stay sideways for a second but then eventually we're gonna see it uh, rise to around 37 to 39 I do not think we're gonna be uh, moving along this resistance here and then breaking this resistance unless there's like huge news for the EV market then we're gonna see Neo blow past 39 and 40 but at the moment, I don't see that happening. So I would be confident in buying Neo around here, 35. As always, I wouldn't buy 100% of my position, right? Because that's not what we do in this channel. We start buying slowly and then we start adding slowly as well. So I feel like this would be a beautiful swing trade. Right now, I'm pretty allocated in the stock market. So I'm trying to sell some of my equity so I can get into this play because I could have gotten into this play today. I spoke about this on my Lucent Motors uh, CCIB update video that I made for you. I said that Neo was going, to, I wouldn't buy Neo right here in the center. I said, because it's too risky. It can come down to 35 and look at what it did. It came down to 35. So, and I said, if it comes down to 35, then I would buy, but guess what? I didn't buy, right? Cause I didn't have money, but I did update you guys on Twitter if you follow that play, you would have made beautiful money and bought around 35 and sold around 39. Like I said, it would happen, right? I'm not a magician, but this is just technical analysis, right? Right here again, I talked about I talked about Neo on my on my Twitter as well, but I was not too sure about a lift off again. So right now, I feel like we are going to lift off to 37 or so. And we're gonna end back. Here in the in the middle, that's where I think we're gonna end up. And on Monday, we'll see. I, I don't see Neo dropping from 35. Period. Obviously, you know it drops here to 34, so that happens. But it goes right back up. If it drops, like I said, I don't have any support line anymore for me. 
30 I think so let's hope it doesn't you know but then 30 would be definitely a, a support line and they would bounce right back off of 30 real fast like I'm predicting this thing but it's not gonna fall from here I bet so yeah that's a beautiful swing play for Neo uh, subscribe to the channel YouTube tells me a lot of you guys that watch my videos uh, are not subscribed so if you'd like to subscribe to the channel I typically update on tech stocks electrical vehicle stocks and some others like financial stocks like IPOE if you're not in IPOE which is a SPAC play already uh, you're definitely missing out and I will talk about my video where I talked about IPOE down the line in the future when I'm up 1000% on the stock and I'll remind you of the opportunity you might have missed IPOE is beautiful it's so fine that's another subject but yes that was Neo and I mean, it's gonna be a beautiful play on Monday, I would say. If it's not, then I, I don't know. But I, I'm pretty confident that this will happen, uh, and then we'll end up around here. Look, I didn't even see this, but we, we're around the uh, 50 EMA line here. <laughs> so right around 37. This is around where I could see Neo going on Monday. So if you wanna play Neo, I would say do not rush. If you see a little spike during pre-market hours, just wait for it a little bit. It'll it'll be down here like it's not flying anywhere at the moment but it will eventually fly to 37 38 all right well subscribe to the channel like i said thank you for watching this video i might be dropping another one uh either tonight or tomorrow morning or something about lucid motors ccib so subscribe to the channel like i said like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video i think i said subscribe too many times already so i'm going to shut off my camera Okay.